Oh, it's an amazing uh, experience, especially for, for the women to get the exposure that they're they're getting now. I think they deserve it. You know, they're all really hard working. They got a great coach. Uh, they got a great program over there. And, you know, it's just a matter of time before they start making a splash on the world stage. And, you know, I think them making this Asian Games appearance has already proved that they deserve to be there and that they're improving their game. And, and uh, you know, I'm really excited for them and, and happy that we get to share the floor with them and, and uh, share our time with them as well. So I wish them the best of luck. I know they're, they're capable of doing great things and uh, most importantly, just staying healthy. So that's a big key. How important is that uh, the recognition just to just to to put it out there that you know you're equal, you're not above them. Yes. Yeah. No, I mean it's it's very important because you know they put just a, just the same amount of time into their craft as we do, I mean, if not more. You know, so they really work hard. They really work diligently, and uh, you know, like I, I think it's important just to to understand that the amount of work that they put in uh, doesn't go unnoticed. And I think that's important for all the the couple of buy-ins out there as well to support them because you know they, this is what they do, and they don't they don't get the, the recognition that a lot of the guys get. Um, you know, they they don't get the same opportunities that we get as far as having the, the league. So uh, hopefully there will be a league for them. Um, you know, I, I am a big advocate of, of that, and I hope that it comes sometime. And uh, I actually have a women's team in the 3x3 uh, tournament called New Waves. Uh, my sister's part of that too, so that's something I do on the side. That's my share to, to help, uh, you know, with with women's basketball and, and provide them with opportunities as well. And you know, they're so grateful for it, and and just seeing them to be able to lace up their shoes and go out there and play the game that they love. You know, that's all the satisfaction that I need. Chris, um, of course, you're very popular in Philippine basketball, having played with the Morocco Bulls. I think really more popular in the World Cup with your dedication to the US Cup. You're finally going to get a chance to suit up with Coach Tim Cohn's big bucks and uh, heading to the Asian Games. Yeah, I'm still serving my time. Um, I, I got told SBP at the beginning of of uh, whenever I was eligible to play for Gilas, I told them, you know, whenever you need me, whenever uh, you're, you're gonna call me, I'm gonna be there and I'm gonna give you my 100%. And I think, uh, you know, I hope I showed that to everybody, all the fans out there that, you know, you don't have to be on the court to still make an impact. You know, you can still really be there for, for the team vocally. Uh, you can be there just to support, uh, you know, just to show your support and, and cheer them on. Uh, you know, of course I wanted to be in the lineup, but you know, just it, it's tough. You know, for for the coaching staff, for the players, for everyone. But you know, regardless, I'm here to serve. I'm here to serve the country. I'm here to serve uh, for the people. And you know, I, I just really want to be a good example for those to follow. That uh, whenever you get to put on this jersey, that you give it everything you have because you you never want to take an opportunity for granted. You never want to take a moment for granted because you know it could be gone in the blink of an eye. So um, yeah, I. It's an honor to be able to wear this jersey and to be able to suit up and, and to represent the country. It's something I've always dreamed of. And uh, again, I just pray that I stay healthy uh, so that way I can, I can, you know, get my all when I get out there on the court. Uh, so at least you guys know whether I'm on the court or off the court, I'm committed to this program 100%. Uh, when it's all said and done, then I will be going back to the Morocco Bolts and, and looking to continue my journey there, my mission there, bringing Morocco their first PBA championship. Chris, this is a relatively unusual. Uh, this is a relatively different time from the people World Cup. This time we'll be sharing the path for the third throne with someone who has gone to get his Philippine Masters before. Your thoughts on how the yeah, um, you know, me and T go way back actually to UAP days. You know, that was, that's when our first battle started. And, uh, you know, ever since then, we've had uh, a lot of respect for one another, for one another's game, uh, just because, you know, we, we love to compete. And, you know, he's one of the, he's one of the toughest competitors that, that, you know, the Philippines has to offer. You know, it's hard to keep that man down. Uh, I've never actually seen him down. In, in, uh, even through his injuries, he's still able to persevere and come back. And so, first off, I'm happy to see him back on the court, healthy, 100%. And it's going to be fun to go to, go to battle with with uh, people that are just as competitive as you. And you know, we guard each other in practice, just like we did in UAP. You know, we go, we're going hard at each other. We're trying to get the best out of one another, and I think that's what it's all about. So I'm super excited to play with Terrence uh, as well as Calvin. 
You know, we had a lot of semifinals matchups, a lot of playoff matchups against Magnolia, always on the opposite side. And, and uh, you know, I, I did hit a lot from Calvin, and you know, you definitely <laughs> can feel it. But you know, now it's nice to know that he's going to be on your team, and, and he's going to be somebody that's going to enforce it and have your back. And uh, you know, I'll, I'll definitely return that favor and have his back regardless of what's happening out there. Thank you. Thank you.